using one fixed pulley and another movable pulley. So here we have this fixed pulley whose mechanical advantage we have one and another so many movable pulleys. Here we are using three movable pulleys. Now one by one we will see each and everything. First we have to calculate the mechanical advantage. So now we have to attach the strings. So now carefully string, see first string we will attach with the support and another with this pulley and again from support another to this pulley, again from support another to this pulley and this is a changing the direction of effort. Now we have to calculate the tensions and we have to see the mechanical advantage. So before calculating the mechanical advantage, let's see the tension in a string. You have to remember one thing that one string is having one tension. So this is a one string. So tension is constant in this string that is T1 and T1. Clear? Here we have a second string. In this string we have a tension. Complete string is having tension T2 and T2. Here we have a third string. Tension T3 and T3. Now carefully see this string is extended up to a fixed pulley. So here we again have a tension T3. Here we are applying the effort and here it is a load that we have to raise. Now we have to calculate the mechanical advantage. Mechanical advantage formula we have load upon effort. So basically we have to calculate the relationship between load and effort with the help of tension. How we will calculate carefully see. First we will see the free body diagram of this pulley. For this pulley, two tensions are applying in the upward direction and load is acting in the downward direction. So two tensions in the upward direction and one load is in the downward direction. So here load we got it as two times T1. Okay. Now we have to focus on this part. Carefully see this part. This is important. So now for this part, see for this pulley, tension is in the upward direction but for this pulley this same tension is act in the downward direction clear so two times two tensions t2 and t2 balancing the t1 so t2 plus t2 is equals to here we have a t1 so here t1 we got it as two times t2 Clear T1 we got it as 2 times T2. Now let's see the third pulley. So for the third pulley, this pulley, we have this tension is acting in the downward direction for this pulley. So here two tensions in the upward direction that is T3 and T3 and one tension, one force is acting in the downward direction that is T2. So here we got T2 as 2 times T3. Clear this part. After that for a single fixed pulley, here you just see here effort and tension both balance each other. So here effort is equals to T3. Now we have to make a relation. Now put the values. Here T1 value is 2 times T2. Put here T1 value. So here T1 value I am substituting as 2 times T2. Okay. But we want the relation in T3. Why? Because effort is in T3. So here this become 2 into 2, 2 square, not 4, 2 square we will write here. Now here we know that T2 is equals to 2 times T3. Put the value here T2 as 2 times T3. Clear? So here load value we got it as base same at the power 2 power 3 into T3. So lo load value we got it as 2 raised to power 3 T3. Now we have to calculate the mechanical advantage. Mechanical advantage we have load upon effort again. So load value we got it as 2 raised to power 3 T3. And effort we have effort is equals to T3. So this tension 3 and tension 3 is cancel out. So mechanical advantage we got it as 2 raised to power 3. Now carefully see here. Here we have 3 movable pulley. First movable pulley, second movable pulley and third movable pulley. 
सो थ्री मूवेबल पुली इट्स वेलोसिटी मैकेनिकल एडवांटेज एंड वेलोसिटी रेशियो इज टू हेयर टू हेयर टू सो बोथ आर एक्चुअली मल्टीप्लाइंग सो हेयर वी गॉट इट एज टू रेज टू पावर थ्री फॉर थ्री मूवेबल पुलिस ओके सो थ्री मूवेबल पुलिस वी गॉट मकैनिकल एडवांटेज एज टू रेज टू पावर थ्री बट फॉर एन मूवेबल पुलिस इफ वी हैव एन नंबर ऑफ मूवेबल पुलिस देन मकैनिकल एडवांटेज वी गॉट इट एज टू रेज टू पावर एन फॉर एन मूवेबल पुलिस क्लियर दिस पार्ट नव वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द विलॉसिटी रेशियो so velocity ratio is what velocity ratio is displacement of effort over displacement of load here we are applying the effort so here we got displacement of effort for example this is d and here we got it as displacement of load that is dl now carefully see here it is a fixed pulley so if it is a d displacement here it is also a d displacement but for a movable pulley the displacement of this point is only d by 2 this we have done in the movable pulley that if effort is moving a d distance then this load is moving only d by 2 and for this pulley if effort is moving a d distance this load at this point is only moving d by 2 means half of this value half of this value means d by 2 square and if this point this point this effort is moving d by 2 square so this load is only move half of this that is d by 2 square half of this value this we have done in the single movable pulley so now here we got it as d by 2 cube so now Here displacement of effort we have d and displacement of load we have d over two raised to power three. So here two cube is going in the numerator d by d cancel out velocity ratio we got it as two raised to power three. So for three movable pulleys velocity ratio is three. For n movable pulleys velocity ratio is two raised to power n. So now let generalize the term. Here mechanical advantage we got it as two raised to power three, and velocity ratio is two raised to power three. For example, let's take the value as it is eight. So mechanical advantage eight means greater than one. So this fixed pulley along with the combination of movable pulley act as a force multiplier. So this whole system act like a force multiplier. Let's take the value and calculate how much mechanical advantage we are getting here. Means what benefit we are getting from this system. For example, we have a block of thousand kg. Okay. Now, how much force we have to apply here in order to lift up this thousand kg? Carefully see mechanical advantage we have load upon effort. Okay. KGF you can write here because it is a force effort we have to calculate mechanical advantage here it is a eight load value we have thousand and effort we have to calculate so effort we got it as thousand by eight so when you will cancel out you will got effort as one twenty five KGF now carefully see here you have to apply only 125 kgf of force in order to lift up a 1000 kgf which is very a small value in front of this 1000 clear